If you own a large farm or a ranch or even just a couple of acres of land, you might want to look into holistic farming. Action 7 News anchor Melissa Mahan explains how the practice can save you money and increase the value of your land in tonight's Project Economy report. We've got the Santa Fe Hots. <laughs> We've got the Big Jim oh, Green wow. Chilies. We've got asparagus. Kirk Gadza lives in Bernalillo on what he calls the urban edge. Not quite the city, but not quite the country. He saves about 25% on food by practicing holistic farming, growing food, grazing livestock, even keeping bees, while making his land more sustainable for the future. If they're interested in lowering food bills, if they're interested in having more quality of life, there's things they can do to really help achieve that. Kirk educates other landowners to live like he does through Holistic Management International. They're an Albuquerque-based nonprofit that's been around 27 years, helping people all over the world improve their land for future generations. Now they're trying to spread their message more at home. We offer very tangible, real, specific financial and economic benefits combined with environmental benefits. HMI helps farmers and ranchers come up with a strategic plan to manage their land more effectively and produce healthier soil for better productivity and profitability. But they also help people with as little as two acres learn how to make better use of their land for the future. And what that means is taking your land and increasing the value of that asset rather than letting it deteriorate. So whether you own a large farm or ranch or just a few acres like Kirk, HMI says it might be worth looking into how you can improve on what you already own. Melissa Mahan, KOAT Action 7 News. To learn more about holistic farming and ranching, go to KOAT.com and click on As Seen on 7.